Hi, I'm Jonathan, Polygon Flow's Community Director, and in this video I'm going to go over how to work with Dash, our next-gen plugin for Unreal Engine that makes environment design very simple and intuitive. So let's get right into it and see how it works. We'll start by opening Dash, which is found next to the mode drop-down menu. Dash is a prompt-based tool, so we'll type what we want to do, which is create terrain. Dash will create a basic procedural terrain for us to work with. I prefer having Dash outside of the main viewport, so I've moved it up out of the way, along with placing the terrain generator in a more convenient spot. Next I'll press F to zoom out to the extent of the terrain, and begin adjusting it. We're now presented with an array of options to choose from. Clicking and dragging on any one of these options will slide slowly, while holding controls increases slide sensitivity. Holding Alt increases it significantly. Changing the UV scale before we apply our material is pretty simple, just click and drag to set the preferred scale. We can adjust it inside of the material using Dash as well. The curved property can be used to adjust the outer points of the mesh, making it sink like a mountain or rise like a valley. The sink property can be used to adjust the height of the generated procedural terrain. Subdivision creates more geometry in the terrain mesh, or reduces the geo depending on the scale of the value you apply. Turbulence creates moderate noise in the mesh. This can be used to simulate mid-level detail and create interesting patterns in the terrain. Height creates large-scale noise, which is based on the turbulence value that you've input, making it incredibly useful for creating hills and valleys. Mid-turbulence creates fine noise detail in the terrain height, giving you the ability to tune the final terrain geometry to your preferences. Seed creates a randomized procedural variant of the terrain mesh based on your input values, giving you limitless creative authority over anything that you create in Dash. Next, we'll open the content library in Dash and find a terrain texture to work with, then drag it onto the terrain. If you don't already have a material to work with, download some assets from Bridge in Unreal 5 first. That covers the basics of working with terrain in Dash. I'll cover other tools in upcoming videos, including material adjustments. So, see you next time!